Marathon talks on climate change close in Madrid, but a compromise deal prompts scathing criticism. We will never accept crumbs of a future, and we will make the polluters pay. This COP has failed the people and the planet. Glad you could join us. It's 8 in the morning here in Singapore, midnight in London, and 1 a.m. in Madrid, where the longest UN climate talks ever held have finished with a compromise deal on tackling climate change. The agreement means all countries will put new, tougher carbon cutting plans on the table in time for another major conference in Scotland next year. Our science editor, David Shukman, has the details. Uh, we're starting to get a little lost. Uh, we are kind of lost. Uh... Okay. Confusion and fatigue after the longest session of climate negotiations on record. We are a little confused about what documents are being discussed. The hope had been to speed up the fight against rising temperatures. Instead, the talks limped to a compromise that left many unhappy, especially the island nations that fear for their futures. The gases driving up temperatures are being blasted out in ever greater quantities. And the most vulnerable countries were banking on getting new promises to cut these emissions. Their worry is that a hotter world will see more melting of the ice caps and a higher sea level, threatening coastlines around the world. 